to do this video because I I don't want I don't want just want to sit here and make ten thousand videos on. Okay, I'm going to put down my makeup now. It's like. I mean, that's also fun, don't get me wrong, that's also really, really fun, and I love to do that. But I want to make this channel not just about this. I read a couple of... Whoop, drop my phone. I read a couple of things um, that really helped me a lot, and even when I'm sad or I'm angry, it just gives me such a bigger perspective, which is, I think, a lot of people lack, because when you're upset or angry, you just see one thing. You just don't understand why he or she or something would do that would just why that has happened so it says the truth is life is rarely exactly the way it wants to be and other people often don't act as we want them to moment to moment there are aspects of life that we like and others that we don't there are always going to be people who disagree with you people who do things differently and things that just don't work out if you fight against this principle you spend most of your life fighting battles a more peaceful way to, to, to life is to decide consciously which battles are worth fighting Life is rarely the way that we want it to go. You just have to be able to adapt, and the easier you do that, the easier life will be like. Because it's all about change. I mean, you go to new schools, you meet new people, you get new jobs, you go to different places, you taste different things. The sooner that you come to accept it, the better it's gonna be. be like, oh my god, okay. Like one time, I started a job. The person that I worked for, this was like in the past before, was such a, mm, I'm not even gonna say it. Every other day, I was like, I'm quitting. There's no way I could spend a minute with this person. And then I thought, hey, why is this person such an asshole? And then I'm just like, you know what? We are all different. We've gone through different things to become the people that we are. And the more this person is an asshole to me, the easier it's gonna be for me to adjust to other people. Because if you if you have to deal with someone who's really difficult, then everybody else is just gonna seem like easy peasy. That I want to show you is this. Now, if you don't have this book, then you're missing out. The amount of times that I've read this and put it down and I thought... You're so funny. ...have really just made me so much more relaxed and feel like you have control over yourself and control over your future and you don't feel like you're just getting... book just gives me so much more perspective like okay in this book I copied down a chapter obviously some things you can't change like the law illnesses and stuff like that but I'm talking about why you're unhappy maybe it's because you're living at a place that you don't like well you have control over that in some ways maybe it's the person that you're with well you also have control over that whatever the reason is you have control over it and staying focused on what you need to do to change that. And my last book okay some of you may think this is like okay so it's called No, but I thought, hmm, because it's a little bit like, come on now, but, and the reason why I bought this, because I was like, oh, I don't get men, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna read up on it, and the reason why I like it is because not only does it talk about men and be like, men are this because they're stupid and they have no brain cells. Uh, yeah, it just, it talks about women too, and why women are the way that they are. Why? We want to do everything for our man and then be surprised when he was handsome. Who can relate to this? Like, right. Men do not interpret words like women do. They take what you say literally. I can't, I can't take it anymore. anymore. I feel like you don't love me. He really believes that you feel that way. 
Men are solution orientated. I hate when my wife opens her mouth and every every thought in her head starts pouring out. Because when I start talking, my thoughts are just like blah, 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 blah. And it's not trying to analyze anybody. I have an overview of the reasons that men lean towards certain things. Need me reevaluate myself and what I do. Yeah, you could get them a glass of water in the middle of the night because they're thirsty, but you know what I'm talking about. Somebody who will take responsibility to fix themselves so you don't have to do it for them. Not that you should, but just saying. Thank you.